My name is Doc Gibson. We're out here at KamikazeCon 2015. I'm with Renegade Effects. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the work I do for them. What I focus on a little bit is I do the latex masks. I particularly work on alien stuff. I can do everything from concept sketches all the way to, through to sculpture and completion and molding. Anything can be done with study and focus. Uh, and, and you look around here, you see the costumes that people are wearing and you know some of it's really great and you see that they're, they're at a fan level doing amazing stuff too. And that's kind of where we all started. We were all fans of film, we we're all fans of doing this kind of stuff and, and it starts off with a love of the artwork and we've kind of you know, congregated together as a group of people that can do some amazing stuff. You know, it's, it's great to see the look on kids' faces when they come around. It's great to see the look on grown kids' faces when they come around. And, and it's really a good time here. There's lots of folks in great costumes and, and great conversations all the way around. I'm involved in the project with uh, Lucky. We, we built a Darth Maul costume and, and a year, year and a half ago I gave this to him for Christmas. Um, you never, you don't see a lot of skulls in the Star Wars universe, so I thought it would be fun to make. Um, if like you what goes into something like that? Well, initially on this one, uh, I have a mold for the Darth Maul horns. I've done a bunch of stuff with those before. Uh, and then I have a special sculpting putty. I found a good skull that I like. They don't actually produce this skull anymore, so I have to make a mold of it. Um, and then I, I glue the horns in place. And then to, to blend between the skull and the horns, I have a special sculpting putty called Apoxy. It's a zero on the hazard scale. Technically, you could eat it, though I don't suggest it. Um, and you just sculpt in the detail, it slowly gets harder over the course of about an hour and a half. And then, you know, you sand it, it's fully machinable like a plastic when you're done. And then it's it's all about, you know, the paint job. That's where the details really start to pop and the piece really starts looking finished and kind of comes alive. Well, one of the projects I have going on back home is there's a, a local funk band called the, the Fabulous Boogie Nights. And as, as a tie-in to the movie, they're doing a huge show the week after the new Star Wars movie comes out and they're having me make a bunch of the uh, cantina band member heads for them and these guys are crazy they're actually gonna wear these big giant rubber heads and play the horns in the head for real not not fake not movie they're gonna be on stage doing it and that's that's something I'm, I'm, I'm excited about right now and kind of along those lines my whole life I've loved Star Wars it's been a thing that, that has has crafted my whole life I have Star Wars tattoos I have lots of Star Wars stuff I make lots of Star Wars stuff my ideal project was to be hands-on and paid to be making Star Wars movies. 